What's going on, guys? We got the Snowspeeder article dropped on us today, as well as some other Legion Wave 1 stuff. So, big news. We got a lot to talk about. Let's dive right into this thing. This thing looks awesome. Beautiful, beautiful sculpt. Awesome box. I, I love the box over here on this thing. Uh, it's just, I love what they're doing with with this box. It's, uh, it's going to look really good on the shelf. Uh, I'm really impressed with that. Uh, I, I love the the design of this ship. It looks great. I've wanted a Snowspeeder and X-Wing for so long, and I'm just so so happy to finally have it. Uh, one thing I'm really kind of impressed with is, uh, is just the way this thing looks. I mean, primarily. Not super crazy about the stand, though. Like, it seems like, that. why isn't it clear when like, all their other stands are, are clear? Um... Maybe that's not how it will finally look. Sometimes they, you know, from the concept art, sometimes it changes by the time we get it in production. So, or it could have even been based, and maybe that was a clear stand in the box, and because it was painted, maybe there was a primer on the stand. Uh, it, it could have been something like that. Um, but I would kind of prefer it if it was clear. But the most important thing is that it's sturdy. I'm really hoping it's better than, say, the Decimator from X-Wing. That one was very, very wobbly and didn't work out too good. Or the Ghost has had some problems as well. Uh, they did a better stand for that. But let's take a look at this thing. We've got some of our upgrades over here, but I want to take a look at the T-47 Airspeeder itself. Oh, man. All right. Let's start at the top. We've got armor. Uh, so, you know, it cancels all hits. We've got Arsenal 2, so we get to shoot two of our guns when we're shooting. That's awesome. Cover 1, we're immune to blast and melee. Melee, that's kind of cool. All right, Darth Vader can't just slice us down with his lightsaber. He, he can't, he, we're, we're too high above the ground, I guess. So I like that. Um, speeder 2, right? So uh, we've seen this before with, uh, with Speeder. You, 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 you can, uh, you're going to have to do that compulsory move. Um looks like it lets you ignore some terrain that's of a, a certain height as well. So, I mean, that makes sense. You're flying, right? You're above. You're kind of you're kind of high up. Uh, we got seven health, which is great for armor. It's, you know, pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of health. We got the defensive surge with the white die. So uh, when the crits do get through our armor, we have still have a, a respectable chance of, of, of canceling some of them. So that's, that's okay. Um, uh, five, uh, I think it's resilience. Uh, we've got one through three for our primary uh, laser cannons, and look at all those dice. Three red and three black, lots of damage, fixed front and impact three on there. Three red and three black are huge. If you're not familiar with the dice already, like the red dice only have one blank, um, and the black dice are a little bit more kind of in the middle, like kind of like a 50-50 chance, but the red dice are really strong, so having three of them is great. I mean, we don't have the offensive surge, so you're not, you know, guaranteed to get damage through. But uh, this might be, you know, one of those deals where you want to aim and then shoot. So awesome, awesome ship, though. Um, looks really cool. I, it's, I'm, I'm just happy to see see this uh, in the game. Let's take a look at some more stuff that we get. Um, I'm loving the sculpt. Look at this paint job on this thing. It looks like, uh, it looks like maybe, I don't know if Sarastro did this one or, or not, but I'm loving, like, the blue highlights on the cockpit. Kind of adds that realistic flair to it. Um, and now these, you know, these aren't painted, so you're gonna have to do this one yourself. But granted, like with the gray, with the vehicles, it's not really that much work. You, they're already gray, right? I, I mean, typically the plastics are kind of gray. So what, what are you gonna do? Just like two colors, right? Maybe three: gray, uh, black on the cockpit, and then some, you know, some highlighting. You don't have to do orange. And the thing, that's that's one of the cool parts. So you can basically like pick a color scheme for your rebel army, and then. And then you can follow this same kind of template with the stripes and, and stuff, or you can just do your own thing. You can totally, like, there's going to be a lot of different snow speeders because this is a, a ship that's ripe for painting, too. So that's going to be cool. Uh, we get a shot of it going up against uh, the ATST. Um, pretty cool. So if you haven't already checked out the ATST a video I've got, take a look at that. Um, and this is pretty high up. Uh, it's. It's, it'd be nice to see it in scale with all of the uh, some of the other models to see exactly how big it is. The ATST looks pretty big, and it looks like it's um, you know certainly a, it's not going to be as tall, or it might it might be about as tall as ATST, but certainly it's got like the same kind of area uh, as the ATST. So uh, looks good. It is. It looks like it might be a little smaller than it needs to be, but then in this shot it looks really big, especially comparing it to some of these cards. Right, so 
Um, but I want to hear what you guys think. Do you guys think it looks a little too small? Uh, do you think that, I mean, oh, and we forgot to go over the points. It's only, it's 175 points. So the thing is expensive. Plus you're going to want to put another gun on this, right? Arsenal two, you're going to attack twice. You can, you, you got to have two guns, right? If you want to be able to shoot two guns, you got to have two guns. So it's going to be more than 175, which makes this thing uh, probably going to be, it's probably going to be close to 200, if not more. It really depends on what the other guns cost and what guns it comes with. Um, but yeah, it's, this is an expensive, expensive thing. Uh, so, I mean, I just can't wait to see it hovering. Like, I want to see this next to the other minis. That's what I really want to see. Uh, and I'm betting we will probably see that whenever they get closer to release. They tend to do the the uh, the articles that kind of show you, like, almost everything that comes in it. So we'll get to see whatever these new upgrades are uh, and see what kind of guns come with this thing. Because, I mean, that's already... Look at the gun it's already got. Can you imagine adding an extra gun to that? Um so let me know what your guesses are for the uh, guns that it's going to come with. What do you think this new upgrade is? Uh, what do you think? Like, Do you think it's too small? I want to hear all about this from you guys. Are you as excited about this as I am? Also, if you're playing Legion, have you chosen a faction or are you going to play both? I'm totally playing both. I'm playing everything. Uh, I, I'm really like, going all in on this game. It looks amazing. Another thing about this set is it's only $29.95 as opposed to the ATST, which is more expensive at, uh, at about 50 bucks. So this one's about 30 MSRP. That's not too bad. It's affordable. You know, it seems like maybe Rebels might be the more cost-effective faction. So if you're really on a budget, you might want to start off with Rebels. Seems that way. Seems that way right now. So let me know, guys. What do you think of this? Are you excited? I'm super excited. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the section down below. Uh, make sure you are subscribed. Click the little bell for alerts so you can find out when I have more stuff. We've got a lot more stuff coming. This is going to be one heck of a week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.